The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. Jesus replied, What do you wish me to do for you? They answered, Grant that in your glory we may sit at your right and at your left. Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I drink? or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized. They said to him, We can. Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right or at my left is not mine to give, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at James and John. Jesus summoned them and said, You know that those who are recognized as rulers over the Gentiles lord it over them, their great ones, Make their authority felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you will be your servant. Whoever wishes to be the first among you will be the servant of all. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If the Gospel of Mark was a movie, today's passage would make an ideal trailer. It captures just about everything that is quintessential to the Gospel of Mark. The journey toward the cross, disciples who just don't get it, the reversal of power, and Jesus reflecting on his own mission. And then the preview ends. That's it. That's all we get for this Sunday. But it is enough to give us a glimpse into the reign of God and a world where a throne is a cross. A crown is made up of thorns and two criminals have the place of honor that was requested by ambitious disciples. Still, I tend to doubt that there would be much of an audience for this movie following this trailer, let alone those who would actually enter into this story. For you and I are far more like James and John than we care to even admit. from the time we're little children, it is instilled in us to place great value and to pursue achievement, success, to make our mark. And so we become seekers of security and comfort and to be somebody. 
And the influence around us is so powerful that despite baptism and confirmation and Eucharist and reconciliation and catechesis, we overlook or maybe we never really grasp that words such as success and achievement and greatness are ambiguous at best and ultimately completely meaningless in the reign of God. And the reign of God is what Jesus calls us to seek and to build if we have been baptized into the baptism with which Jesus was baptized, and if we drink from the cup from which Jesus drank. In the Christian life, success, if it is measured at all, is measured by service. Achievement, if it is found at all, is found in goodness and spiritual maturity and greatness, if it exists. It's not a matter of being better than someone else, but living one's, living one's life for the sake of others. When it comes to following Jesus, the truly difficult work the challenging work may be less about what we do and more about who we are becoming.